Every morning, it's a sacred routine. Get it real good. You got a bare spot right there, you got it? Wax up, it. paddle out. You'd think Whitley Smith had been surfing her whole life, but this 12-year-old just got on a board 10 months ago. Before that, she had a much different life. She didn't have a family. She didn't have a mom. She didn't have a dad. She didn't have anything that was hers. Emily and her husband, Scott, met Whitley while she was living at Daniel Kidd's residential treatment program. These success stories are why, why our staff gets up every morning. Dave Cognetta says, Daniel helps nearly 3,500 abused children and at-risk families every day. We help kids who are suffering from uh, severe emotional and uh, behavioral stress, and we provide them refuge and counseling. We connect kids with foster homes and adoptive homes. We uh, help homeless uh, teenagers find housing and jobs, and we strengthen at-risk families. Before she turned 10, Whitley, known as Wit, was shuffled through nearly 20 different foster homes. I never saw myself becoming a mom, and the moment that we met this little girl, that's all I could think about. And seeing her and being able to look into her eyes, I knew that this, this was my daughter. But it was actually Wit who ended up asking them the big question. I was like very shy at first. I was scared of everything. And then I was just like, this isn't so bad. So I, just, I asked them to be my mom and dad. And they said yes. What has come a long way since then? I love to watch TV, watch movies. I love to play games. Like video games? Yes. I like about video games. Well, I mostly play this game called Minecraft. Oh, OK. I, I've heard of that before. It's building. <laughs> Which surfing idol is Atlantic Beach world surfing champ Justin Quintal? And Justin, if you're watching this, I miss you and I can't wait to serve with you when you come back. After a lifetime of fighting currents, now at home in the waves. Casey Feint, First Coast News, on your side.